Mukashi Mukashi, a strong sorcerer, gathered up the true names of powerful monsters and slid them into a book that should have never been created. Powerful, the book was sought after, fought after, and then lost, thought destroyed. The monsters, stung by the sorcerer's betrayal, vowed revenge. Or so the legend goes. All right, hello everybody, and welcome to the second episode of Buddy's Book. Would my players go ahead and introduce themselves, going from top to bottom? No, I'm first. Uh, okay. Hi, I'm I'm Blue Jay. I'm gonna be playing Moth, who is just a weird child. Um, they look like a little forest creature today. Uh, and they're just here. They're just here. Valid. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Doc, and today I'm going to be playing the inquisitive Cork, who is a three foot tall alien wearing a black t shirt and smiley face boxers. <laughs> I love their, I love its design so much. Same. Yes. Howdy, I'm Sphinx, and today I'm playing Smudge, a little silly he who animatronic child. Let me find the page. Behold a child. We behold a child. A child. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Winona. Uh, today I'll be playing Sakura Blossom, who is a Frankenally pony-looking tune. Definitely, is, definitely inspired by MLP. And I'm actually going to show the art that my friend drew because she draws a lot better than me in that style. Ooh, yes, Ooh, it's, it's lovely. I love. We like, love to see it. Yes. Yeah. Just... She's a Kirin. Specifically, <laughs> oh, I love it. I just I I am holding all of your characters extremely soft. I am Mira. I'm going to be your DM for the day. And uh, how about y'all kind of just explain how you got the Hitoyama? Cause that I I don't know how you guys got here. I, all I know is you're here for a hike. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to mention before. I say how Cork got here. I'm actually holding Cork in my hands because it is oh based gosh. off of a plushie, an actual plushie I own. Hell oh yeah. my gosh. Yes. <laughs> oh I my have gosh, Cork yes. with me in my lap. I feel like <laughs> you should send picture, please. I, I will send picture. If I can remember where I put my phone. Uh, Cork has just wandered here. Why? Who knows? The plot. The plot is, is why. <laughs> it is exploring. <laughs> <laughs> As always. Which is valid. Teams can travel. Uh, Blue oh, Jay. Oh, wait. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Blue Jay, uh, how, how did Moth get here? Um, so Moth just kind of shows up places. Honestly, that's, that's what valid. happened. That's valid. Sphinx, how did how did how did how did they get how 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 did your character get here? Smudge got extremely lost. They were looking for something and they just got lost. Very lost. The poor child. Oh, I hold them very soft. <laughs> this is their first time out in the world. They don't know where they're going. Oh, <laughs> it's a baby. <laughs> I love we're them. Real. Very baby. Indeed. Well, know what? Uh, how did how did how did Sakura get here? Uh, has been traveling Ghibli for a while. She's actually from Ghibli, but she's mm -hmm. more from in the city. But she wanted to like expand her knowledge to Ghibli, so she's just been exploring it. So she eventually mm -hmm. wandered up here. All right. Well, there's there's no better place to be than Hitoyama. It's it's a very nice, quiet village. Uh, 
well, technically it's a town. It's a very bustling town, in fact, instead of its name as a village. Um, the buildings are richly painted, just like many Ghiblian towns are, and the entire air is welcoming. There's the faint smell of baking bread and coffee wafts up on the summer breeze that rustles the surrounding trees as chatter from its Ghiblian citizens rushes over you. Unhurried. Pleasant. Normal. The sky above is bright and clear and it is the perfect day to go a hike. And to start things off, everybody, I would like you guys to give me a perception check. Oh no. Oh god. Uh, oh. Perception. Okay. Perception. Oh dear, I, I don't remember, remember how to roll this robot. <laughs> yeah, same here. I'm used to- I'm still used to roll 20. I'm used to Tatsu! <laughs> okay, yeah. What you do is- Oh yeah. You do a exclamation mark, Cork D, perceives. 20 plus whatever is your perception modifier. Oh, okay, so I didn't need the one. Okay. Moss got a perceives. whole six. Where is Smudge's perception, this poor child? Uh, you don't need the roll, you just need the exclamation mark and then the d20. And oh. uh, you don't put any spaces <laughs> in between because that can bork up the bot. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. okay let's I do see the what... same thing, roll is a Tatsu command as well. Let's see, <laughs> let's All right. see what this child can be. An eight. Alright. Seventeen. So we've got a six, a fifth. A 17 and an 8. All right, all right. Uh, well, uh, let's start from the bottom and work our way up, shall we? Uh, Moth, you you notice that the fountain is really loud. There's it's just bubble it's babbling away, and there's several of the village children that are, have snuck away from their minders and are just splashing in the water. Uh, like their laughter is very bright and just it's adding to the symphony of the town as you kind of just sit there and watch them uh there is a large bulletin board outside of the rangers guild uh many posters and signs fluttering in the warm summer breeze and uh uh sorry uh <laughs> i'm looking at your yeah. user I'm looking at your username, and my brain is going, which character is associated with this? Um, <laughs> I am having a time. I apologize. It is early in the morning. Um, it is okay. It's yeah, okay. we've all got very little sleep. <laughs> uh, Spink, could you really quickly remind me who your character is? I apologize. Oh, Smudge. Smudge is my character. Smudge is your oh, character. Oh, I should probably do Okay. Yeah, I should probably put something on my username. <laughs> I I love all of your characters dearly. It's just my, my brain is not working this morning. Shakes it's it right. shakes it very oh, no, firmly. I, don't know how, I do not know how uh, to change How you how you name. change your username is you can right click on your name and there should be uh, uh Ah, yep. Yeah. Change name. I'm change on mobile, name. so I had to figure Ah, uh, you're uh, on mobile. It's... Gotcha. I'll do mine really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys very much. I love you all very much. I, I, all, okay, I hold I you it. all very soft. I appreciate you all. <laughs> we hold you soft as well. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, Smudge, you also noticed that, and uh, there is a large bulletin, like you both, uh, both you and Moff now notice that there's a large bulletin board outside the Rangers Guild. Many posters and signs are pinned and fluttering in the warm summer breeze. A moose tune in clear ranger gear and uniform is sliding, uh, sliding up a set of Mac is sliding a set of maps into a small plastic box. You kind of assume that, oh, hey, if you if you want a little guide for uh, the hike that you're kind of just planning on going whenever, uh, you can go ahead, grab a map when you guys are ready to go hiking. Um, let's see who rolled. Okay, uh, Quirk, period. And Sakura, you guys both see the rather tall figure in a dark cloak skulking in the shadows of the rangers guild glaring at any tune that passes by but in particular it has a very nasty expression for the moose tune who is just obliviously walking past them and back into the rangers guild mm. 
Sakura is going to take note of that, but I mean, the person isn't doing anything right now, so she's going to definitely hold her action. But seeing that the Moose Tune lo probably looked like he was like putting out maps for the hike, she decides to go over there to get one. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, and with. My, oh. oh, go ahead. Uh, uh, Smudge is excitedly going towards the map and getting one, just in case, because you never know. Mm hmm. And is staying away from the fountain. They cannot handle a fountain water. <laughs> Moth is probably playing in the fountain <laughs> with the other Aww. kids now. Adorable. Mudge knows the dangers of water for them. They are silly I, robots. I got they interrupted a lot of water. because oh, sorry, oh, sorry. that mother walked in. Oh, it's and fine. Yelled for I, me. I, I can. I, I can. did. Cork period. See, uh, cork period saw uh, a rather suspicious figure in a tall dark cloak skulking in the shadows of the rangers guild uh they're glaring basically at anybody who's walking past uh but especially the moose tune who is a ranger who had just barely finished putting maps into the bull into the bulletin board kind of refreshing that little container of stuff and then uh just kind of obliviously walking past this very suspicious figure in the shadows but the, the the person isn't really doing anything. They're just there and glaring. I'm sure it's mm -hmm. nothing to worry about. It's nothing to worry about. What do we know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, I'm just going to say, Blanket, you guys got high enough perceptions that you all kind of just see each other. If you guys want to go ahead and say hi. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> were you about to say something? <laughs> Dang it. All right. <laughs> uh, you said Smudge was going over to get a map, too. Yes. To say, Sakura probably think there's like, oh, hello there. You going on the hikes, too? Smudge nods the, her head excited and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, oh, dang it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going on a, I'm, oh, dang it. I can't do her voice. Oh, no. Smudge is very, <laughs> okay. it, Smudge is very excited and saying, yeah, yeah, I'm going on a hike. It's going to be cool. I need to explore. <laughs> Me too. I like exploring. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what, what trail are you going to go on? I... I don't know. <laughs> Let's say Sakura smiles. Well, me neither. Maybe we could take a look at the map together? Find a nice trail? I would like a hiking buddy. Yeah! Hiking! Hiking buddies! Very fun! <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of what Smudge should say, so she's just very excited. Valid. <laughs> nice. Cork I guess. period is also <laughs> going over to get a map, and walks over with, with with the sound effect of wop 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 because that is the only sound it makes. <laughs> yes, and it is also <laughs> going to grab a map. Smudge sees Cork grabbing a map and is like, "Hey, do you want to join us? We're going to go on a hike." Uh, they tilt. It tilts their its head, and a question mark appears over its head, and just goes, "What trail? Uh, <laughs> what do you not know? What, what it's trail? A um, hiking trails. Uh, through the woods. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> it's it's a it's a path through the woods. Very scenic, usually." Uh, it kind of nods. It is like, I kind of understand. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very dumb alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I can see Sakura, like, tilting her head a little bit. <laughs> like, trying to see, like, trying to figure out a way of how to explain a hiking trail other than it's a path through the woods. <laughs> Smudge is just is just is just sit, is just standing there just thinking on it's just with the there's no not a thought behind her eyes but she's thinking of how to explain it. <laughs> I think at this point Moth appears behind you <laughs> and kind of makes a beeping noise. Oh. Uh, are we in the way of you getting a map? Sorry about that. Um, uh, no, they they shake their head. And they 
they point at wait can we see the trail from here uh there is or- a trail that is it starts from uh the beginning of the trail does start kind of behind the uh rangers guild and let me just really quickly give you guys the map of hitoyama mm-hmm. just copy and here you guys go Do-do-do-do-do. Also, I should specify that when I say beeping noise, I don't mean like beep beep. I mean like a sort of whistling mm-hmm. something. Mm. All yeah. Right, cool. But yeah, there is a path that kind of leads out from behind the Rangers Guild where you guys are all. Um. You guys also are free to pick up anything from the market or anything if you guys want. Like, just pick up some snacks on your before you guys head up onto the trail. Um, like, the beginning area is your oyster, I should say. <laughs> Court ha- period has five mm. gold. It is not going to be able to buy <laughs> anything. <laughs> Switch has, has 15 gold. I think that's the normal amount, but they don't know what to buy. They have all the stuff that they think they need. They don't say, know what to buy. Sakura's gonna look around and see if there's, like, any, like, tra- like trail rations or, like, mm-hmm. you know, those little snacks that you take on trails. <laughs> yes. Trail mix. I don't know why I couldn't think of that for a second, but trail mix. Yes, there is there is uh there is some trail mix that you guys can get from the market. There is also uh there is uh the good stuff which has chocolate alongside granola and nuts. There is mmm crunchy which is granola, dried fruit and nuts. And then there is nothing to see here which is a mixture of nuts to munch on. And then there's also some dried fruit, uh some water bottles, jerky and granola bars and they're all for like every single item is just one G. So if you guys really want, you guys can get some stuff. Mm. I would say, hey, look, there's some like trail mix snacks over there. If you guys want to get something before going on the trail. Cork is going to slowly blink. Hmm. Unless I'm off you guys the stairs. Hmm. Smudge thinks for a second and then they remember. Oh, we don't got any snacks. I don't got any snacks. I'll get them. Uh, and then and then Smudge just immediately runs to tor- to get some trail mixes. <laughs> we'll get some tea gonna... for us too. <laughs> and she trots over to the market. Oh god, All I right. need to make a wolf chart for Cork. <laughs> oh no. It would I not have anything in the <laughs> normal a chart. Two? Two. two? What's a two? Um. Okay, so Moth reaches into their hammer space and pulls out a, a candle. <laughs> That's already lit. Oh, candles next. Um, I don't know who the closest person is, but they're gonna hand it to someone. <laughs> Cork oh, is. I'm. I'm going to pretend it's Cork because Cork is just going to hold it. Okay, hey, Cork like, is holding a lit candle. <laughs> Cork is going to like poke the fire. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um just really quickly gonna roll a D two. Uh alright, uh y- y- you take one point of fire damage because you poked a <laughs> candle. A lit candle, my friend. Yeah. That's another fumble. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it it shakes its hand. Like ow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Um, okay, now they pull out a live butterfly. Aww. Um, butterfly. It, it flies away. And they, they hold up their hand like one moment. And they're gonna I keep like, trying. I feel like just Smudge just kind of sees it and immediately forgets their quest for getting trail snacks and immediately just stares at the butterfly and just tries to catch it because oh, it's pretty. I say Sakura is 
uh, knows what to say. Sakura goes and get the snack. She's gonna get. She's gonna get one. You said uh, granola bars are one gold. All of them are one gold. So let me just really quickly take a screenshot for you guys, so you guys can actually see the uh, your choices of rations. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Screenshot taken. Hey, if I fumble enough, I might just straight up get what I'm looking for. <laughs> Valid. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Sometimes it'd be like that. Mm -hmm. And this time they've pulled out a full cup of tea. <laughs> oh my god. <gosh. laughs> Who wants this one? <laughs> it's a. Sakura is gonna get some. Say, let's see. Hmm. What does she want? What's she feeling today? Fruit or jerky? Hey, not a fumble. Nice. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So they they pull out um a bag of baby bell cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> And they, they they pull out like a few cheeses, I guess, and hold them out to everyone. Aww. Yeah, she's probably doesn't know that at first, so she's gonna get some dry. Say, Sakura's gonna get some dried fruit mix and then the good stuff of trail mix. So mm -hmm. two things. Okay, so it's just two G. Mm hmm. Cork. Yep takes the cheese and is like what <laughs> oh oh yeah. yeah and these things are wrapped in wax so it's cheese within the wax mm -hmm. oh my it's gosh. just confusing if you don't understand oh my gosh. <laughs> how the cheese works smudge also takes the che cheese they are probably they're they're thinking should they eat it now or should they just save it for later Let's say, Sakura probably comes back and sees this, like, oh, I didn't know you already had some stuff already. Well, that's good. <laughs> I want to roll and see if Smudge cheese. does eat the cheese. Just give me a D2. One for yes and two for no. <laughs> um, Cork two is for going no. to drop Smudge will cheese. save it for later. Quark is also going to save the cheese, but is going to drop it into its hammer space, which is in its pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Into the boxers it goes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Smudge is looking at you. Hold the cheese. Smudge will gently hold the cheese. They 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 don't want to put it in their hammer space. It's a gift. Aw. Adorable. Aw. All right. Have you guys gotten all the stuff that you want? From the little market stall? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What? All right. The birds are singing. The shade underneath the trees are refreshingly cool as you guys head up onto the trail. The path leading up the mountain is a long and winding series of switchbacks. The trees are thick here on the mountainside, and soon you can't really see any glimpse of sky and the shadows are growing darker. It's honestly kind of chilly up here, deep within the forest. The path is getting harder and harder to see. Uh, since you guys have been hiking a little while for this kind of travel montage, can you all just kind of roll me a, uh, a con save just to see how you guys are all holding up? Oh dear, I need to... I do not Con know. save. Con I'm, save. I'm technically somewhat good at that. Ooh, mediocre. Oh. <laughs> A okay. 14. Of course I had to open my mouth. <laughs> so an 8. Oh, let's see what I do. A 12. Okay, let's see. Uh... Quirk, you're surprisingly the only one who's not exhausted by the time that you all kind of reach this midway point in the hike. And everybody else, you're just kind of standing there, kind of going, huh, huh, huh. 
wow wow this is a this is a long hike that you guys have found yourselves on wow oh he you all kind of just need to take a moment to like to catch your breath uh a few of you might pull out your snacks and munch on it a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. There is like uh, to the side of you. There is kind of like a like the rangers have kind of set up uh, kind of like a water station. For the, you guys kind of get the feeling that a lot of people get tired at this point in the hike, so mm-hmm. it, it's it's normal. So like if you want, you guys can kind of get some like water and kind of just refresh yourselves for a moment before heading mm-hmm. on. <laughs> Yeah. Smudge will now take the opportunity to eat the cheese that they have been given. Yeah. Do they eat the wax? Cheese. Yes, that is exactly <laughs> what I'm planning. Smudge just, puts the, Smudge just puts the entire thing in their mouth. They're hungry. Oh, oh uh, uh, it's already too late. Like, Sucker probably knows this, but then she, like, goes to try something, but it's already too late. She's like, uh. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh, uh, just um, give me just a straight con roll, uh, smudge. Uh, d- do I just d20, right? Uh, if it's, uh, just, it's your con modifier with a d20. Ah, so it's still, so it's still a plus one. Oh, okay, yeah, you're, nice. you're fine, you, you don't even really notice that it's wax. You, 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 you can eat wax, apparently. You're a tune that can. <laughs> so to the silly robot. They, the animatronic, they're going to eat it. They don't see any consequences. <laughs> yeah. I think Sucker is just going to have some of her dried fruit mix and then some that those cup, a cup of water. Mm-hmm. Cork is looking at all of these tunes who are exhausted and is like, what? <laughs> Why are you all tired? Moth is also of- kind of just looking. <laughs> uh, just a lot of exercise. A lot longer hike than I imagined. But at least the scenery is very nice. Smudge nods their head and is like, It's a very good scenery. Scenery is nice. When you have scenery, there's going to be an epic. Wait. <laughs> Smudge realizes that they have done, they have goofed up their words. <laughs> Sakura chuckles a little bit at this. <laughs> gives a little, gives him a little pat on the head. Cork uh, tilts its head and goes, "Query, is the gravity to you all heavy? Is that why you are tired?" Uh, yeah. I mean, gravity affects all of us, and I guess it's partial one of the reasons why we are tired but also physical exercise especially a lot of it can wear a person down too cork nods this makes sense <laughs> <laughs> moth just shakes their head and pulls out pulls the pan pipes off their back and starts playing them <laughs> you don't know what that means Smudge nods as well. They have a new understanding of gravity. They thought it was just there. <laughs> <sighs> All right, guys. Since you guys are kind of at a resting point, I want you guys to give me a perception check. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh uh, boy. Twenty Come on, dice perfect. Okay, sixteen. I personally twenty-two. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Child Cork perceives handshake. the West yes. smudge we perceive. Yes. Okay. Smudge not the twenty the and a nat one in and... <laughs> Oh my gosh. The cheese helped smudge. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we got a unnatural twenty, a sixteen, uh Another unnatural 20. Wait, no. Uh, un- there's a 21. Uh, 16. 20, nat 20, and then the nat 1. Okay. Uh, 
you all notice that the shadows are incredibly thick around you guys now. The trees are looming overhead and the mist is starting to creep in, threading through the gaps of the branches and crawling over roots, bringing with it a very sharp chill that sends shivers down your spine. Maybe, maybe you've all maybe taken a wrong turn somewhere? Uh through the mist for everybody except moth you see glimmering lights dancing and bobbing as whispers drift on a hidden breeze and for all of you except moth uh the mist clears and a clearing can be seen just up ahead there is the murmur of voices and you notice a young teenager with a cat in his arms knelt by a shrine he has sakura petals in his long blonde hair, and his head is tilted as if he's listening to something. He turns golden eyes to look at you as the cat slides out his arms with a murr. And his gold eyes look widen, and he says, You really shouldn't be here, he tells you. And, uh, Moth, you are not with the rest of the party. You, the mist no. has- <laughs> The mist has grown thicker around you, and you realize that you can't even see the path out in front of you. You're not even sure that you are on the path anymore. It's cold and dark, and the shadows of the trees seem to stretch over you, long bony fingers piercing the mist. They reach down toward you. You step forward, and the roots seem to wind around your ankles, tug, and catch on your clothes. The forest doesn't want you here. And then, you are not. The sunlight beams down on you, and you find yourself on a long stretch of path. The forest is long behind you. Ahead is a stall, and the real kind man manning it stands over from the, leans over from the counter and grins at you. Ah! Hello there, traveler! Would you like to browse my wares? And let me just hand you guys what Moth sees. I just can I just say that um in in the dark uh moth was like moth crouches down and then makes a really big call to try to like see the surroundings mm-hmm. and so they can they see the outlines of trees but it doesn't help them find their way mm-hmm uh Moff, just really quick, I'm going to focus on you for a moment before jumping back to the rest of the party. Uh, what do you do? Uh, you, you're, you're faced with this uh, real kind man who has a stall. And uh, are you going to go say hi? Are you going to investigate? What you doing? Uh, Moff goes up to the stall and waves. He grins at you. It's a very wide, toothy grin. His uh, He's got... Uh, it's interesting. He has green freckles on his face. And like his, his eyes are golden and sparkling. And he, he looks rather friendly, in fact. I don't trust like that. But Moss <laughs> does. Um, <laughs> um, Moss just kind of stares at him. Until he's going until he does something else. Uh, the mask seller, because uh, you you're you've approached enough that you can see that he's selling masks. There are uh, many different animals shaped. Uh, there's also a very st- a series of rows of blank masks as well. And he his eyes are kind of twinkling as he looks at you, and he's just like, ah. Y- you hiking? You hiking, my friend? Uh, Moth nods, um, but now they're, uh, they're looking at all the masks, because they actually wear a mask all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, like, just, just because. So these are, in their eyes, these aren't potentially cursed items. <laughs> 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 Uh, he notices that you're interested in the masks, and he just kind of beams at you because, oh, a potential customer. Ho, 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 ho. And he just kind of uh, is like, 
Would you like to browse my wares, young one? I, I've got, I got some new uh, masks here. There's like, uh, we've got some fox, rabbit, dog. Uh, we've got even a cat mask. There's a wide variety of stuff if you wish to spice up your wardrobe, so to speak. And there's, there's also a very special one that I've just barely gotten to stock. It's one of my finest work, I do have to say. It's very interesting. A question mark appears over Moth's head. Uh, the salesman kind of grins at you and then pulls out from the counter a blank white mask and just kind of hands it to you. It's like, this is like one of my finest work. It attunes itself to the wearer and reveals secrets about them that you wouldn't expect. One of my finest work, I do have to say. Okay, I'm curious about this, but Moth isn't. This isn't a fancy mask. <laughs> they want a fancy mask. <laughs> so they, so they, uh, they kind of lean over the counter and point at the, the more ornate ones, I guess. Mm hmm. Uh, the mask seller kind of looks a little disappointed that you're not really interested in the more uh, plain, quote unquote. One, um, but do me a favor. Uh, just make a whiz save real quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. oh boy. Ooh. Okay, with <laughs> that eight, uh, you fail, my friend. Uh, but as you're putting on the mask, because it, you. It's interesting because, like, you, you're really interested in all of these masks that the seller is selling you, and but it, you, your eyes just turn back towards the mask that is in your hands, and it, huh, it reveals something about yourself. You're suddenly extremely curious, and you put the mask on. And now oh. we cut away back to Crazy. the rest of the oh, group. No. Mm -hmm. oh, they, no, they put it on. They put it on over their other mask. Mm -hmm. It's big enough that Sorry. it goes over extremely well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I am concerned. Oh. I can't. Uh -oh. worry about oh boy. It. All right, uh, everybody else, you've just been faced with a boy who looks extremely extremely tired who is holding a cat just tell you straight up that hey you shouldn't be here uh, uh do we notice mom's mom. mission yes you also <laughs> miss you also notice that you are missing one of your party members <laughs> smudge is concerned they're looking they're looking around they do not know where moth is oh no moth hey, my hey, potentially hey, new friend <laughs> Sakura quickly notices this and sort of glares at the boy, say, Were- did that say- sorry. <laughs> Darn it, I just- <laughs> It's okay, take your time. Was- Was this your doing? Uh, he might, did you He kind of blinks confusedly and- Oh, also, yeah, Blue- uh, Blue Jay's right. Did we all introduce ourselves? <laughs> While yeah, you guys were this hiking, every time oh. <laughs> we all get caught up. Drop... <laughs> we oh, all yeah. got caught up yeah, no, in the RP gosh. moment and just yeah. kind of forget Forgotten. to introduce ourselves. So it's valid. Smudge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smudge, Smudge was probably introducing themselves during the hike, being all excited and saying like, "Hi, I'm Smudge, and I'm new around here. I am, I am on a journey. I am looking for someone, but I am going. I am the cowboy." <laughs> Sakura <laughs> probably does. He's like, you say, <laughs> Sakura's like, it's nice to meet you, Smudge. My name is Sakura. You say, I just, I just been wanting to travel around Ghibli for a while. I've lived here mostly in the cities, so it's nice to get out into nature. Smudge nods uh, their head and says, "Oh shoot, sorry." No, it's okay. You can continue. Uh, Smudge nods their head, excited, and is like, "Nice to meet you, Sakura." And th and they just process that they're that they're in Ghibli and they're confused and look at and look at a separate map. <laughs> uh, 
Cork looks to the other two and is like, aim, cork, mission, explore. And that's it. That's all you're getting. <laughs> cork? Uh, yeah, the, this appears over, wait, whoops. Uh, this appears over a moth's head. Moth. Ah. Smudge. Nice. Smudge. Oh, it's Peck. There you go. Smudge nods their head now, no, now knowing moth's names and is now knowing everyone's name is now going to ask a very important question. Would all y'all like to be friends? Of course. Smudge. Smudge is now very excited. They have obtained a friend. <laughs> Cork is just going to squint. Um, Moth, hold your hand. That means yes. Oh. <laughs> now, Smudge accepts this. They are they are now very happy. Cork is a little taken aback, but is not <laughs> going to complain. Smudge has Smudge is now very excited. They have obtained four friends in one day. This is the most they'll ever have. <laughs> ah, I'm just like oh. I, as the DM, am sitting here and holding all of your characters very incredibly soft. <laughs> your bad oh mouth got cursed. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the situation at hand, like Sakura def again glares at him at this boy and said, where, where is Moth? Smudge is very concerned and like, no, my friend! And they, and they cut, but they already kind of notices the boy and they're like, oh, they're tired, they need food. Yeah, and like, her horns are sort of glowing pink. Like, somewhat, say, not threateningly, but you can definitely see there's magic starting to gather around her horns. Sm Smudge is going towards Sakura and like, hey, 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 no, we don't need to go over board. Maybe there, maybe he's just tired and is a tour guide and he's tired. He needs food. He has a cat. No one is good. No one is a bad guy with a cat. Oh, also speaking of said cat, let me just really quickly hand you guys the reference for said Kibby. Cork is going to yeah. point at the man and go. Why are you here if we are not supposed to be here? This is a good guy. This is. And he just kind of uh, holds the cat a little tighter to his chest and he just kind of looks back at the shrine and then back at you guys and he just is like, Your, your friend must have gotten lost in the mist. It. You're... You're not one of Nashi's. I... Nashi? And Sakura looks now more like her horn glow disappears and now is more curious. The cat kind Wait, of... Still... Who is Nashi? Nashi? Smudge is tilting their head. Uh, the cat kind of reassuringly bunts his head against the boy's chin and then kind of uh, drops down onto like the ground and you guys kind of watch as the cat kind of wanders into the mist because you're you're in this clearing and all that you can really see is this shrine and the boy it's an oasis in the mist so to speak and he kind of rubs at the t upper part of his arm and he's just like <laughs> sorry no one usually gets past the mist to hear um this is this is one of nashi's places and he just kind of reaches over and brushes the shrine as he's talking and then he just kind of shakes his head and he's like it it doesn't matter um i can i can lead you guys through the mist and hopefully we should be able to find your friend you 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 said their name was moth yeah smudge is, uh, smudge is nodding their head they they don't understand the importance of Nashi, but they, they, they must be pretty important. <laughs> can Sakura. I have Cork roll religion real fast? Yep, go yeah, ahead. Can Sakura, 
Yeah, can should, Sakura should, do the same thing? <laughs> I should probably I should probably do that. 15. As well. Does Cork recognize this as an important thing to leave things at? <laughs> ah, see. <a> fifteen. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cork. Let's get eight. You, despite being an alien, you do recognize the fact that this is a religious place. Uh, it is a shrine dedicated to a god. You. Oh. You, oh. Okay. Uh, Smudge. I will get to you in a moment. Um. Uh, and uh, you you realize that yes, this is uh something of a religious place. Here, which is one of the reasons why the boy looks incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, Sakura, y you don't That's really pick say. up anything. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. She would she would know what a shrine is. She does not recognize the god. Yeah, no. Uh, mm -hmm. You you wouldn't. Uh, in fact, uh, because a uh, quirk, you you just barely met the DC. Holy peck. Um, but <laughs> smudge, <laughs> smudge, honey. Uh, you it's. It takes a moment, but it feels like there's kind of this veil, almost, that kind of parts in you suddenly understand very clearly that this is, this small clearing is a holy space, and that uh, it is protected by the mist. And this is why the boy is so freaked out that you all have managed to stumble through the mist. You weren't supposed to be here. And he was telling you guys the truth. It's not necessarily bad that you guys are here. It's just... Besides the boy, no one has been here in 200 years. Can I deliberately fumble? <laughs> yes, you can deliver. Much has this re Much has this realization and is like, I don't know, my trespassing. And is and they're now and they are now going to go through the hammer space to look for something as a way to say, "Hey, we're sorry. We didn't mean to." I'm going to deliberately fumble and Cork uh, is going to pull I, out. What should I what should I roll for for, um, for hammer space? Uh, roll a d10 for your hammers. Well, yeah, roll a d10 for your hammer space. And then if you fumble, then you roll a d20 to see what you... Oh, I don't know why I rolled. I wanted to deliberately fumble. Uh, an eight. That, <laughs> okay, yeah, that is works. that good enough? Yep. Uh, basically what happens with a hammer space is uh, everything except a nat one for, on a d10 is uh, fine. You pull out what you want. And um, a fumble is that one. Um, but ah. Quark, since you wanted to uh, naturally fumble, just roll me uh, whatever you like. Just uh, you can either pull out what you were thinking of, or you can just roll your d20 and see what random thing you pop out. Yeah. So I wanted to deliberately fumble because Quark is going to pull out a cosmic brownie from their f from its fumble oh chart oh and gosh. leave it on the shrine. <laughs> Gosh. Oh gosh, I can't decide. Uh, uh, Munch uh, probably has. Oh shoot, sorry. I was gonna say, Soccer in the meanwhile is gonna go over to the try and look at, then look at the bo look at the boy. He said, "I have not heard of this god, but uh, could you tell me a little bit about them? We're sorry if we did trespass." Uh, it's 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 okay. Um, it's. Nashi likes visitors. It's just no one's been here in a very long while. Um, and he just kind of rubs the back of his neck a little. He he seems to kind of be relaxing around you guys, though. It, you you get the feeling that he just he was kind of honestly just freaked out that you guys showed up <laughs> because <laughs> it was so unexpected. Yes. Uh, well, uh, she pulls gonna... out. A couple of oh peck. I keep I'm sorry, sucker. Winona. No, I say no, she's gonna say. I see. Uh, again, I I would like to at least leave a prayer. Uh, what's Nashi the god of again, please? Um, they're they're the they're the people unseen. People unseen. She does look very interested in this and gives a gives a little nod and 
goes over to the shrine and then kneel say for at least the pony sort of way of doing it she looks like she's laying down and like bows her head a little bit and closes her eyes in prayer she says like oh great nashi we please forgive us for disturbing your holy place we mean no harm and you hope we hope to get say i hope this eh, offering do that eh, can't speak this morning hopefully this offering will help forgive our transgression and she takes out the other trail mix that she had the good stuff and places on on the shrine smudge has pulled out from their hammer space some lovely blue flowers you don't know where they got them from they probably had them for a good minute and they put it on uh, they probably had these flowers for a good minute and they put it on the shrine and it's just like apologizing thing we're sorry we didn't need to trespass um and i hope you have a good day <laughs> and as you guys leave your offerings and the uh and basically just your prayer uh the clearing is filled with a gentle summer breeze. It's incredibly warm because it's, you, as the, I've stated before, it's kind of chilly up here, this high up in the mountains. But this breeze is warm and with it is uh, sakura blossoms that float through the wind and kind of swirl around the shrine and they kind of rustle all of your hair and uh, basically... Uh, you get the feeling that you you were forgiven the moment you guys actually realized what was going on. Sakura mm. smiles and nods and then looks towards the boy. Uh, forgive me. Uh, I don't think we caught your name. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, I'm Hajime Takashi. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Sakura, look, like, extends a hoof. <laughs> Sakura Blossom. Very nice to meet you, too. Uh, he'll take that hoof and gently shake it real quick <laughs> mm -hmm. and he'll smudge get you too <laughs> oh, smudge is relieved and now and is now back to being happy excited child and they are now <laughs> going to go towards hajime and say nice to meet you hajime and they're gonna and they're gonna uh, uh put out put out one of their paws preferably preferably not the one covered in honey <laughs> and uh, offer a handshake uh Hajime will shake Smudge's hand, and he, he kind of smiles at the childish uh, enthusiasm. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> and he looks at you, Quirk, because he, he doesn't know your name yet. Quirk walks up to, to the fellow and says, Name, Quirk. Mission, explore. And holds out a three-fingered hand for a handshake. Uh, Hajime will also shake it, and he's like, "It's very nice to meet you all. Um, let's let's find your friend, okay?" Sounds good. And I'm sorry for the hostility earlier. I shouldn't have assumed the worst. It's okay. There's some dangerous stuff here in Kitayama. Um, it's better to keep an eye out I guess um, the people of Hitoyama are nice it's just up here in the mountains things can be a little bit more um, he kind of chews on his lip a little bit and then it's like wild um, mm. oh here while I'm while I'm thinking of it uh, he pulls out three necklaces and let me just really quickly do, 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 do. and he hands each of you a teardrop jade necklace and he's like this this should help you for when you're um if you decide to go hiking through here again um oh smudge nods their head and they accept the little jade the jade necklace the jade tear necklace and is but distinctly in their head, they're wondering if they can eat it, but they decide against it. <laughs> Sakura puts on the necklace since they're in the way. She's like, oh, is this a ward? Um, it kind of, it, it'll help you while you're here. It's, um, it's protective of a sort. Um, 
if you have it, you're, it kind of shows that you have, um, Nashi's favor, I guess. Um, oh, I see. Smudge Nog. And they now you know guys... the importance of the necklace. They can't <laughs> eat it. <laughs> and as you guys kind of look at uh, Hajime, you notice that he also has a jade necklace on. Quirk is holding the necklace and is like leaning in and squinting at it while also doing like a thinking look. Mm-hmm, um, like, mm-hmm. Smudge kind notices of Quirk like doing that and is like, and is like, don't eat it. It's not good. <laughs> Uh, Quirk Quirk is thinking this looks like me (laughs) Uh, Quirk since you're looking at it so closely why don't you roll me an arcane check oh god okay (laughs) what is my arcana it's a plus two Okay, with a 16, 16. Yeah, with a 16 you definitely realize that this is a very magic rock and um You remember what Hajime had mentioned, uh, what Nashi was the god of. It is the god of the unseen. And you you kind of get the feeling that this is going to help you with stuff like the mist and also just dealing with whatever else is under Nashi's domain. (laughs) Quirk uh, moves from squinting and looking very closely at this thing to looking at Hajime. And is like, query, does this reveal? Uh, he kind of gives a quiet nod, and his hand kind of reaches up to rub at his own tear jade necklace. <laughs> Cork nods, and then puts it on. <laughs> Alright, do you guys also put on your necklaces? Yeah, I say Sakurai put on the, okay. the necklace. Okay, I just wanted ah. to double check. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Smudge. Ah, Smudge is probably is has it on and is just holding has it on and is holding the little tear because it's a, it's a it's another gift. They have a tiny two gifts today. <laughs> I hold Smudge so soft, and um, as uh, he uh, Hajime kind of notices that you all have kind of gotten the necklaces up around your necks and kind of just nods to himself and kind of rubs his thumb over the necklace again kind of and you, you kind of all notice that it's, it's a self-soothing gesture um mm. because it the stone is like it, it kind of so it kind of is like almost like a worry stone for him almost mm-hmm. and like he oh, just yeah. kind of nods to himself and it's like okay um when we find your friend, I can I can give you I can give them uh, their necklace and everything should be okay. Yeah, smudge smudge nods. They are they are in focus mode. They want to find their friend Moth. Moth is mm-hmm. Moth is very important to them now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, and uh, he's going to look at all of you and just kind of nod and go, okay. Um, Follow me. Um, I should be able to get you guys back onto the path. Um, yeah. Let's All go. right. All right. Follow can him. I say one thing? Can I say one thing real quickly? Uh-huh. Uh, when Hajime shakes Smudge's hands, there was a squeaking noise. Oh. Oh. No. Um. I guess I should also note that when uh Quark's hand was shook, it went blop blop. Because anytime Quirk makes any motion, it makes that noise. <laughs> Wait, I think I have the squeaking wop, noise. Wop, 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 wop. <laughs> Love it. Wop, wop, wop. I found it. <laughs> if, <laughs> like, if we have to do any stealth, Quirk has disadvantage <laughs> because it, oh it does wop, 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 wop. Okay. I don't know if Noted. Smudge will have disadvantage because it's only their paws that do the squeaking noise. <laughs> I'm not sure if they have to do the uh, disadvantage for that. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you disadvantage just for squeaky toy paws. It's, it's ah. fine. <laughs> okay, and he leads you all through the mist, and the mist doesn't seem as ominous now as you walk through it and are suddenly on this path. And ahead of you is, uh you notice that there is the same stall that Moth had seen before you guys. 
<laughs> uh, but Moth isn't really seen. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. Oh dear. You guys don't see Moth yet. <laughs> Smudge will Smudge will go towards the stall. They do not see any danger. They it's just a stall. What could go wrong? In the middle of the woods. <laughs> Smudge is path. thinking. Smudge is thinking. This is a stall. There could be people. It's a hike. <laughs> Cork is suspicious. So is Sakura. <laughs> Smudge is the only one who's who's like who's just looking at this fresh-eyed. <laughs> I sort of want. I know it wouldn't work that way, but I sort of want to do the mage hand, like my little pony thing, where she just like, just like pulls Smudge back. Yeah. No. Uh... <laughs> I do believe Smudge would be too heavy for Mage Hand. Unfortunately, that but that's like the mental image that I'm having in my head. Uh-huh. It's just like Sakura's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> we could do it for the rule of funny. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you guys don't know to be really suspicious of this mask staller. So, except for your own natural character. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but, All right. So, yeah, Smudge, you, you're approaching the stall? Yes. Uh, you, you see you see the mask seller who is just kind of like, Oh, another customer. Hello. Hello. And I just got to roll a thing real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, so that's how that's going. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Okay, just gotta roll and see if another thing, real quick. Okay, that's a plus two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm well. concerned for I'm concerned for my child, but I shouldn't worry about it. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, All right, I'm going to worry about it, Myra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Basically, I the the mask seller kind of just looks at you, Smudge, and it's just like, well, hello there. It's, it's so nice to see another customer out on the trails. Are you hiking, my friend? Smudge nods their head, and it, and they are now. They are now very excited again, and it's like, yeah, I'm I'm hiking, and but right now one of our friends got lost, and we're looking for them. And have you seen have you seen them? Oh well, there was this one child that had a very fine fetching mask. I I managed to sell him one of my specialties, and he pulls out the white mask and just kind of shows it to you, Smudge. Smudge is tilting their head. That mask. Um, do you know where they went? Oh well, uh, unfortunately, I turned to look at one of the other masks because they were in, rather interested in uh, some of the other more detailed work that I've done. But uh, when I turned around, they were gone. Can I roll an insight for Smudge? Sure. Go ahead. Gosh, where is my insight? Cork is also going to start walking. Yeah. Towards the stall. They Sakura is. Uh, Sakura is going to too, and she sort of looks at Hajime. And he's like, "Do you know this person by taps?" Okay. Oh wait, I don't know what insight is. Well, give me a second. <laughs> ah. Insight is listed on your skills. Twenty. Two. Yeah, but Gosh, it, it'd be fun. Five. Smudge trust <laughs> them. Yeah, you sure do. I this this the salesman seems wonderfully, absolutely trustworthy. There's there's no reason why you should be doubting this person at all. It it's just a mask seller on the side of the road. It, it, you know, just trying <laughs> to make up Smudge, make a quick buck. I just. Smudge yeah. is still fairly new around here, so they don't know a lot. You just see them deflate as they hear this news. They look sad. I'm sorry, yeah. young one. This is funny, because Moth absolutely would just wander off. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Yeah, but Sakura is going to, like, 
turned to Hajime and asked, You wouldn't happen to know this person, would you? Uh, you don't even have to roll insight, Sakura. Uh, Hajime's face has gone pale, and he's on it. He's actually trying to hide behind you, but it's not working because you're a pony. I mean, My... it's partial cover, at least, but Sakura, seeing this, is now very protective of Hajime and. And then calls out to them, Well, if Moth isn't here, I wonder where they went off to. They they didn't have... You said they didn't buy any masks? Or... No, wait. You said that they bought a mask. Oh, well, of a sort. Uh, when I turned around, I the, one of my masks was gone, so I, I assumed they were interested and took one. It's one of my more experimental types. And what so much, mask? So much, and so much, may I see it? They didn't steal it, did they? Oh, no, no. They they gave me payment. And, um... <laughs> uh, Gosh. Smudge is absolutely unaware that they rolled a D5, so they're just there. They trust this man. So, Back um, to say, can... Can Cork roll insight? Yeah, say so so Sakura and so Cork, you guys can roll insight as well. Um uh Smudge, do you take the mask that the man is holding out? Dirty twenty Woo <laughs> Oh gosh. Do I get advantage because <laughs> I see Hajime reacting that way? Yes, you do get advantage, Sakura, because you do have the clue of Hajime quietly panicking. <laughs> I, yeah, that's why Sakura is just like, wait, something is not wrong. Something is wrong. Uh, insight. What's oh that gosh, so much trust the salesman. There's nothing wrong. They they will ask if they can hold the mask and see what and just see and just see the detail. Oh, okay, uh, Smudge, make uh, a whiz save. Oh no! And... I should have expected this, but at the same time, I'm surprised Pikachu face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, uh, Sakura oh. and Quirk. Uh, as Smudge takes the mask, you realize, oh, Ooh, oh no, baby. no, and uh, as you have the dawning realization of, oh shit, this is something sus. Um, can everybody make a con save, please? No, oh, con oh. save. <laughs> I should have expected it, but I'm surprised Pikachu face. Gork! <laughs> uh, uh, con save, right? Yep, con yep. save. Oh, that 20! Thank God! Quirk suffers. <laughs> or... Oh, my, my sweet summer child. Oh. As... Uh, as you have the realization of, oh shit, things have gone incredibly south, uh, you, um, Sakura, you're the only one who sees this as the mask seller locks eyes with Hajime and throws down a mask, um, not a mask, um, a vial that is kind of a, f kind of fluorescent kind of almost iridescent green and mm -hmm. the glass shatters and the smoke goes everywhere and smudge quirk both of you just pass the fuck out i'm sorry my dude yeah. you guys are <laughs> passed out um Rip. but and so smudge got the mask as well and i'm concerned yep and uh sakura you you cough and your eyes start watering but you're the only one awake. Hajime has kind of slumped to the ground behind you. And the mask seller kind of leans on the counter and goes, Huh. I thought that would have worked on you too. Well, <laughs> when your blood runs with dragons, you're pretty resistant. And you now see in between her hordes a very chromatic, like, fiery orb appear. And she said, now where is Moth? Uh, do me a favor, everybody. <laughs> um, everyone who has failed the whiz save for the masks. Uh, yes. Uh, 
Please roll me a d6. Okay. Well. Oh, two. Okay. Moth. Smudge is not getting good rolls. Moth and oh. Smudge. Uh, let me really quickly look at my little notes. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, Moth. You blink. And you're not bipedal anymore. You have you kind of look and are kind of discombobulated as you kind of try and figure out what the heck just happened. And so how many legs do I have? Four. And okay. as you look, you realize you have hooves. You got a tail. You're a deer, my friend. <laughs> And, uh, Smudge, you're a rabbit. Smudge does not know how to deal with this. They were, wait, has they changed in size or are they just, like, just the same? They are, you are the or... size of a, a normal rabbit. Smudge wait, is now they... confused. They are small now. And they were like, betrayal. Wait, <laughs> would they know it's betrayal? Yes, uh, you kind of wake up as just everything has kind of started to kind of settle. You now are animals. And uh, the reason, and uh, it becomes very incredibly clear, Sakura, the reason you didn't spot Moth was because there was a deer just kind of standing there, freaked out. I see. And I'm guessing I sort of get... Get up, get cut off the pace as I see Smudge transform. Yep. I'm guessing. Yep. She said, she hisses at them like she actually does have fangs, not like like snake snake fangs, but she does have mm -hmm. like fangs. She is omnivore. She's like, turn them back, and she even in, she also even has a forked tongue. But the fire, the fire grows larger between her horns, very threateningly, like. She is gonna wreck shit if they he doesn't listen to her. Uh, roll me uh intimidation. Yeah, that's what I thought. What is my intimidation? Okay, it's actually not half bad, but watch me be wrong. <laughs> Smudge is trying is just trying to get their head on things. They're like a fifteen. <laughs> it's not bad. We just see. You are very, very convincing on how you're about to kick shit and take names. <laughs> but let me just roll a thing just to see how well... He, he's impressed, frankly. Uh, he he kind of just leans on the counter a little bit more and is just like, Why should I? Because I'll make sure you burn to a crisp otherwise. Uh, he actually grins at that and is just like, Oh, little one, little one. I don't need you. Smudge is just staring at the salesman and, and they're trying to think of something to say. They don't know what to say. They are, they are very, they're kind of scared. This child is scared. Uh, and honestly, uh, both uh, Moth and uh, uh, well, actually, everyone, roll me perception. Cork right. is passed out. Yes, I do know you are passed out. I will get to you guys in a moment. I'm just really quickly do focusing I need to on the people who are awake. Passed out? No, you don't. Wait, need to. is Smudge right. st is Smudge still passed out, or is there awake uh, now? Smudge has just okay. barely woken up. Seventeen. Ah. Okay. Should I roll perception? Yes, you were perception. awake. You are okay. a deer. You're freaked out, my dude. I can't see. <laughs> Do I roll a disadvantage? Uh, no. You're 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 st you've come aware enough that you you can notice this. Okay. Nineteen. Um, nice. Moth is probably not actually very freaked out. They're just kind of confused. Yeah, yeah. You you're incredibly confused. You you, you were standing on two feet. Now you have four feet. What? 
Smudge is kind of confused and scared. They don't know. They, they're just this child. Mm hmm. And Sakura, with, with that 14, with that 17, and Smudge, with that 19, um, you notice that this man's teeth are very, very sharp. And it, if it's interesting, his form flickers between real and tune and something other and he's not really looking at you sakura he's looking at hajime scared and and but, but say, but sakura but, is like putting herself between her and hajime if you want him you'll have to go through me and what she Okay, she's from Ghibli. Would she possibly recognize this is a yokai? Because I, as a player, realize this is a yokai. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll me Arcana. Okay. Smudge is scared at the fact, hey, that's sharp teeth. They're small. They're not the... Uh, oh, I don't know if forgot the like D. The, uh, oh, I did forget the D. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. They're small. They're prob. They're not. They're not as like. They're not the same big and as oh, big yeah. as they used to be. Yeah. But they're now angry at the fact that hey, the salesman is is probably is is now going after Hajime. They are angry. Mm hmm. So. That's a with, twenty. That's like a. With, that's a twenty-two. Yeah, with that twenty-two, you immediately clock on to the fact that this is one of the beings that Hajime was talking to you about. Uh, one of the beings that you realize are unseen normally. Uh, and they only let themselves be seen when they're up to something. And you've had stories and tales about these beings called yokai, but huh, you, you don't really understand why it's Hajime they're interested after, because Hajime seems to be so knowledgeable about this deity that is has the domain of the unseen. Don't really know what's up, but it's interesting also, the salesman hasn't actually moved. Can can I roll intimidation for Smudge? So it's as them saying like, "Hey, don't get near my friend." Like they're just like they're just giving off that vibe. Don't go near my friend. Mm -hmm. Smudge oh, is good. Go, go Smudge and I. Yeah, go ahead and see if the tiny bunny, uh, your your tiny <laughs> bunny form actually manages to be intimidating. Go roll me intimidation. Uh, <laughs> they're not a bear anymore. This mm -hmm. poor little bunny. They're not an animatronic bear. They're just a teeny animatronic rabbit, probably. D twenty plus two, please intimidate this jerk. <laughs> it's a twelve. Uh, it it's impressive for a tiny little cute bunny rabbit, but he kind of just blinks at you and smiles that very incredibly sharp smile, and he just kind of settles himself behind the counter. And, uh, Quirk, this is when you start waking up. Oh, hello. <laughs> you, you see, if if Smudge was, like, still their silly he-who-bear form, they probably would have been growling. But now you just hear squeaks. Just hear squeaking. Which, which, is, why the, which, which is why the 12, unfortunately, did not work. <laughs> yes. What does Quirk perceive? Moth is sitting on the ground. Just sitting. Uh... Yeah. Can they access their hammer space? Question, where is their hammer space? Normally. Uh, uh, I never really figured that out. <laughs> I was thinking like the middle of the chest, there's that glowing mm -hmm. section. Mm -hmm. um, and that's basically their life force, so mm -hmm. that would still have to be there. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you can 
manage to stick your head to where you would be able to kind of pull something out from that space, uh, just roll me a dex just to see if you can actually manage or not. Okay. I don't have anything I want to pull out. I just... They just want to know. Yeah, just... This is just to see if you can actually manage... Oof. You kind of try and... You, you just kind of nose at your chest where your glowing sigil mark is, where your life force is. Bonk. It's kind of hard to do with just a mouth. Whack. Whack. <laughs> Bonk. Oh my gosh. Whap. And the the mask seller just is like kind of like he you guys don't even have to roll insight. He is just absolutely amused by all of this. And Quark, you you come to to seeing this kind of tableau of two of your party members have been turned into animals. A, a, a deer and a rabbit. Um, Sakura is pissed. The math seller is grinning, and Hajime is still passed out. <laughs> Quark is going to look from the transformed party members to Sakura the mass sale salesman back to Sakura back to the party members and it's just going to go query attack query yes and she blows a spell a fiery scorching ray at the mass seller okay quirk kind of pipes up statement not how you use the word query. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is blowing a second level scorching ray at this guy. Okay, uh, let me just roll. Yes, killing in violence. <laughs> oh, killing in violence. Roll. <laughs> the child. Yeah, like, let me just really quickly roll a thing, real quick. I. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, everybody, roll the initiative, angry. please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll roll initiative first. So. Uh, initiative. What should I do for that? And it's uh, plus four. Uh, of your, course. It's your dexterity. Ah, yep. dex. Oh, it's plus two. Mm. A seven Bonk. with freaking plus four to my dex. Love that. Let's see what I get. 19. Oh, this God, small I'm rabbit started. is I angry. I have for detail because I'm an inquisitive thief or inquisitive rogue. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Nat 20. Oh. Rip. That sucks because I... um, <laughs> Moth wasn't going to do any. Moth wasn't going to fight. Which yet. is fine. You can, you can hold your turn. This All is, right. This is mainly just to figure out what everything is going to happen <laughs> okay so the order of everything is uh does everybody roll yes okay uh, i'm one. now drawing this yeah. i'm just now drawing smudge. the rabbit smudge being angry oh smudge. that's cute uh and then there is sakura wait no, uh, it's actually yeah. um not sakura it's uh, I say Sakura is fifth. Um, uh, let's Sakura see. and then. Let's say, well, Sakura is. Her initiative is five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, uh, eight, and then there is. Quark. Okay, that is our current in initiative. Uh, do I get my initial tack off? Yes, you do get your initial tack off. Roll me damage. Uh, it's a it's a spell attack. It's it's a it's a spell uh, attack. So each ray, I create three rays of fire and hurl them at the target. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how much eight. damage do you roll? Uh, two d six for each ray. Okay, so roll me two d six. 
Uh, I still say, are you telling me yeah, like it hits roll, automatically? Yes, because you are aiming it at a person who is in a masked so, vendor stall. Ah, so that means they take not oh, they took two d they take two d six for each ray, so that would be three three d six. Okay, uh, r- roll me the three d six. Let's, so let's see I'll roll how much. one at a time. So, so two d six for each ray. So there's the first ray. Okay. There, there is the second ray, and there is the third ray. Okay, so eighteen. Do, 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 do. Let me just do some real quick calculations. I'm gonna put it. Up. Could I put in the game zone of the rabbit smudge, Angie? Of course. Yes. Here we go. The child is now angry. Angry! Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. I couldn't draw them with the hat, so the hat is just somewhere knocked off. Okay, and he just kind of, the mask vendor kind of swears under his breath. Uh, do, do any of you know Primordial on the offhand? Uh, oh, Primordial? On, no, not, no. I know Sylvan, but not prim- Primordial. Dang it, I know Celestial. Um, no. Wow. Close. Wow. So, yeah, y- 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 you just, you just hear this, like, kind of, Girl, good, good old noise that kind of, uh, it's a language you guys can't understand as he kind of swears and kind of just, the, the soul kind of just goes up into flames as the fire hits it. Uh, but the man just kind of almost seems to shrug it off a little bit. Like he's, obviously he got hit and ow, that sucks. Uh, but he just kind of hops over the burning uh the burning um oh my gosh i'm just sorry i'm like trying to stall? counter stall the count the counter of the stall and just kind of brushes himself off and he's like no need to be so violent hmm. i mean you were the one who started this you had plenty of warning mm. Oh, I'm just doing what's in my nature. Of course, you yokai. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you yokai. Um, oh my gosh. Quirk has no idea what's going on. The Smudge has no idea what's going on. They're just angry. Mm-hmm. Quirk is just playing along. Quirk is like violence. Violence. Fight. Punch. Rawr. <laughs> Yeah, yes, and Smudge, yes, Smudge is also, kill. Yeah, Smudge is also gonna be is Smudge is probably just like, just being intimidating. They're gonna try and protect Hajime. Hajime is their friend. Mm-hmm. They need to protect. Quirk was just like bad thing attack violence. Mm-hmm. I violence no going on, but kill. I want to attack. Okay, <laughs> uh, Moth, you look up from your kind of confused. Uh, what the peck? state and realize oh hey there's a fight going on what what do you do um okay so they're gonna hold on i will say you got if you guys do have spells you do have access to your spells and in your transformed state uh, holding a weapon might be hard let's just say that good thing cork's not transformed Quirk only knows, like, two spells. Good thing Smudge is also part bard. Good <laughs> thing Moth is a cleric. <laughs> um, well, they're a barbarian bard, but... Mm-hmm. She's a bard... Uh, barbarian. They are bard barbarian. Barbarian. I love barbarians. So they're gonna... Uh, how far away is... Hajime's unconscious body. <laughs> uh, I mean, 
I mean, Hajime, I was standing right next to Hajime. Like, like a good few feet. Like, I would, I would give you whatever range your spell has. Oh, all right. It's 30 feet. Oh, yeah. So no, we're good. You're, 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 you're totally fine. Oh, oh, and it's a bonus action. Nice. Um, so they're going to cast Sanctuary mm -hmm. on Hajime. Okay. Uh, should I read it? Yeah, please read me uh, Sanctuary real quick. You ward a creature within range against attack. Until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attacker spell. The spell doesn't protect the warded creature from area effects, such as the explosion of a fireball. If the warded creature makes an attack or casts a spell that affects an enemy creature, the spell ends. And it lasts a minute. Okay, it lasts a minute. All right. I just realized something. Yes? Smudge, Smudge only has one attack a spell that does any oh, damage. I... And it's a cantrip, <laughs> so if I can use it. <laughs> I can use it with no limits. But the thing is, it's the only thing. Let me guess. This is mockery? Yes. I knew it. <laughs> I got Charm Person, Disguise Self, Featherfall, Healing Word, and Hideous Laughter. Oh, I mean, got Hideous Laughter. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Moth, that was your bonus <laughs> action. Do you have any other action you would like to take at this moment? Um. Mm, no, not really. All right, then, Smudge, mm -hmm. it's your turn. What you gonna do, my bud? Hmm. Since the only thing that Smudge can technically do is dance. Huh. Hmm. Charm person could work, but then again, hideous laughter is so good. I'm not going to risk it. Hideous laughter. Huh? So could hideous laughter possibly? I can't think of a good work. No, not a good work. A good pun. <laughs> Charm person with your cutesy, rabbity self. It would also be technically kind of funny to just this rabbit just mocking a dude. <laughs> yes, yes. Go, very much so. Go for what makes you happy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do vicious mockery on this dude. <laughs> All right, what do you say? Oh no, because uh, you you're suddenly turned into a pecking rabbit. Your friend is unconscious. Uh, what the hell, my dude? <laughs> Smudge only knows one word, one horrible word that they will never use. <laughs> <laughs> Smudge is angry. <laughs> you, you pack and neck. Why? That was my friend, and you decided to do this. To mess up a good day. And uh, the word has been spoken. Yes. Remind mm -hmm. me again. Yes. Um, is it that I have to make a whiz save, or what? What? Um, what save do I have to do? If I recall. Uh, Just a uh, wisdom wait. save. Okay. Or yeah, I must uh, pass the wisdom save, but I'm not sure what could pass. Is uh, what's the pass? There be? should be a uh, um your I'm trying to remember the term for it. Um, there should be. Uh, listed with your spells. Oh, let me really quickly look at... Oh! Oh, the DC, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the DC. Uh, that is... Vicious Mockery, the DC is 11. So let's see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> okay, Toshi, what is your modifier? Okay. Ooh, oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry that did not work and he just kind of blinks at you and just smiles that incredibly sharp smile and he's just like I just still Marge just backs down a bit at seeing the smile they're baby mm -hmm. but they're still angry mm -hmm. and uh, it's the mask seller's turn and oh no <laughs> he kind of just smiles and let's See what he's gonna do. do, 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 do. Oh dear. Someone just realizes their mistake now. <laughs> the consequences <laughs> of their actions. <laughs> when will you learn? Um, when will you learn that your actions have consequences? <laughs> so 
one is a child. They're new. They will never learn. I mean, I did attack them, so they have a fair chance of attacking me back. Yep. Yeah. And and to be fair, uh, the vicious mockery just kind of washed right over them. They did. They're honestly, they're. They think it's just adorable that you're oh. so angry, Smudge. They're amused. Oh. oh, that just makes Smudge even more angry now. <laughs> Oh, let's see, let's see. Okay. This child is angry and sa- and angry and scared. Scared mm-hmm. mad. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um well let's see. He kinda tilts his head and then he vanishes from view. Uh, everybody make me a perception check real quick. Ooh. I don't like that. Oh, Smudge doesn't like that. Can I use uh, my trait, which is eye for detail? Starting at third level, you can use a bonus action Uh, to make a wisdom or perception check to spot a hidden creature or object. 14. Yes, you can Uh, use that. Oh, no, no, Sakura. No! She's the she's the main damage dealer. <laughs> or at least the spell wise. Yeah, Sakura, you you have no idea where this mask seller is gone. Smudge got a fourteen. He's just gonna make sure it. she's over Hajime. Oh no, and Smudge. Smudge is the only one with the highest with the highest. That's the okay, awful. let's see how well this goes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, none of you know where he's gone and then you turn around and you Sakura you you glance over at Hajime and there is a cat where (gasps) a cat where Hajime was and it's being held by the scruff of its neck in uh in uh the mask seller's grip and he's just like it's so funny I should have charmed person <laughs> and it did did uh did, did sanctuary do anything no because uh what happened with Hajime is the mask a mask got slipped over his face. And that was a oh, big fail. Ah. And Hajime's kind of just yowling at this point, and uh, y- you all have a hostage situation now. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I know exactly mm. what I'm gonna do, but Moth mm. needs to go first. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. I have... Can I hide? Yes. There and are stealth. there are some. Uh, you can disengage, and um, I will give you that you can uh, roll stealth as you're hiding behind some of the trees surrounding you, kind of just dotting the the path. Okay. Okay. With a twelve. Let's I hate everything. <laughs> just Same. See. My child is not. My child is not a rabbit. Okay. Uh, let me just see. Uh, uh, you just. Wait, no, that's not actually. Yeah, yeah. You you managed to disappear from the mask seller's view. Fantastic. Amazing. Uh, now I have to figure out what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Can I use my insightful fighting skill and uh, roll a, an insight check to see what he is trying to do with Hajime? Yep. Okay, so that's a wisdom insight check. Insight is plus one. Okay, with a 17, you realize something weird it 
Um, if anybody else wants to roll me insight, you can. All right. All right. Oh, pretty good. 18. Oh, their anger has blinded them. Yeah, yeah. With um, Smudge, your anger and fear has yeah, blinded you're, them. Yeah, you're, you're the only one that doesn't really clue in on this, but uh, the mask seller is holding Cat Hajime in a way that wouldn't hurt a cat. Even with mm. the cat freaking out like Hajime is doing. And mm. all of you kind of realize that the mask seller wants something. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Whose turn is it now? In the initiative? Uh, it is still uh, Quirk's turn if ah. I if if the mm -hmm. since I'm not giving you the the insight rolls that you all rolled are not considered actions. They're gotcha. At least for me, mm -hmm. I don't really remember the Got exact it. rules. Yeah, but you're fine. Yeah, you can you can still take right. an action. I'm giving you guys this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thinking. So the mask seller cannot see me, correct? Yep. But it's interesting. He actually doesn't seem like he's trying to hurt Hajime. Okay. Hmm. I'm looking at the things I have. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. So he's not trying to hurt Hajime. Yep. Can I... What's the word I'm looking for? Incapacitate? I don't want to hurt him. Uh, you can attack with the intent of not killing per se yeah i just want him to drop hajime <laughs> yeah you can if you have a ranged attack that would hit uh you can... i have a dagger yeah you <laughs> yeah does that count <laughs> i mean yeah you can throw it <laughs> okay dagger uh, what do i roll to throw a dagger uh i'm gonna say uh Roll with your dex modifier instead of your attack modifier. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay, let me just really quickly see, see, see real quick. Yeah, yeah, no, that hits. That hits. Uh, let me just see if... Do, 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 do. Let me just see... I just wanted to like graze the top of his hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. It it hits, and Hajime is immediately dropped. And uh, let me just see real quick. D twenty plus three. Okay. Uh, Hajime doesn't immediately book it for the woods. <laughs> 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 And running away from all of you, he instead kind of runs away from the mask seller and kind of just scrambles uh, kind of up your back, Sakura, and yeah, just kind of curls up into a kind of slightly quivering ball of kibby, blonde kibby you know, <laughs> Mom. You know, I was about to shout, get on my back. So, <laughs> Good. so this works out perfectly. Cats are liquid, confirmed. Yes. And that ends Cork's turn, basically. Mm -hmm. But Cork is going to shout, Statement, your plan didn't work very well. <laughs> and Cork... Or, uh, like I guess is out of hiding at this point mm -hmm, because the throw did uh, manage to kind of reveal your position so to speak yeah mm -hmm. uh, uh, and that laugh was actually the mask seller who laughed mm. just, mm. that's so that's... incredibly amused by all of you 
Oh gosh. Smudge does not like the vibe of this man. Yeah. Uh, Moth, it's your turn once again. Moth doesn't like attacking people. Valid. Moth oh. doesn't know what to do. Oh, Valid. I mean, Smudge you is, could technically Smudge hold would your usually turn. Wouldn't attack. Right? Is that a thing we do in the yep, server? Yep, you hold can turns. hold turns. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. But, like, also, I will remind you guys, there was the sense, like, the only one who didn't really realize this was Smudge, the Mask Seller's not actually intending to hurt Hajime. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's something up with him. You, you just haven't asked the right question. Moth doesn't mm -hmm. talk. Can, <laughs> can Moth insight again? Yeah, you can, as your action, so to speak, maybe you, yeah. you can insight mm -hmm. roll. Oh man. Okay, mm. with, with a 13, you again, you get the sense that he wants something and it's from Hajime specifically. Mm. He wants something and Smudge doesn't realize this, but Smudge's got a teeny little plan in their head. They don't <laughs> know what Uh Moth is going to go over to Hajime and kind of just make noises. Um, I will say, as you guys are, uh, y even in your animal forms, you guys can still communicate in the mm -hmm. ways that you would normally. Because, Moth, I do know that you kind of, you, you, you don't, you don't. Does Moth actually speak, or do they have the ju just the text box that they use? Uh, they just have the text box here. I'll pull up the thing. This is what they sound like when they're like making noises a lot. Like they just make nor normally they make chiming noises, right? Yeah, I don't think it's picking up actually. <laughs> Yeah, no, Whatever, unfortunately. It's fine. I, it's fine. I've, uh, I have played the game that Moth is basically an XP of. Uh, I just, mm -hmm. it's been a while yeah. since I played the game, so... Uh, They're using the bird call, so it's mm -hmm. like, uh, doo 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 Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But mm -hmm. just a bunch. And so they're doing that at Hajime. <laughs> Hajime's ear kind of flicks as he looks at you, uh, at Moth, and he's just... If he just asked, I could've. Because it's, it's very clear what Hajime... that Hajime knows what the mask seller wants. Hmm. 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 Alright, that's all Moth is gonna do. Hmm. And Hajime mm. wasn't quiet. You guys all heard that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Uh, okay, now Smudge has got the context that they needed. They are now going to go with their master plan. <laughs> Charm person! <laughs> 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 okay, uh... That is a whiz save from me, correct? Uh, let me double check, because I am head empty. Um... <laughs> Yep, a wisdom saving throw. All right. Let's... Mm -hmm. You get advantage if we are fighting you, though. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me just roll again. Uh, oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the baby. The baby was just smudge. Was like maybe we could be rational. I apologize. We could work it out. We could talk it out. You could. You could be more. Oh, you can tell us what we need to do. And. <laughs> and there goes their plan. <laughs> it the magic just kind of washes over them, and he kind of just raises an eyebrow, and he's still smiling. He isn't. Smudge is unnerved by the smiling. <laughs> they know their plan has failed. 
<laughs> and he just kind of looks at all of you and kind of taps his cheek and is like, Hajime san, you, you know what I want? I want it back. Smudge is deflated and, uh, and Smudge is deflated the fact their plan has worked, but now they have more context. They look at Hajime as in questioning, but also pleading, like, what does he need? In a way of like, you can tell through their body expression, what do, what, what, what do, what, dang it, words. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, just, what, what, what is going on? Context? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And Hajime is just incredibly very small on Sakura's back, and he's just. If you just asked, I would have given you your name back. And the mask seller just uh. kind of raises an eyebrow because, oh, really? Really? In his experience, no, it's not that simple. He doesn't believe Hajime. <laughs> Can I roll insight again, just so Smudge has more knowledge? Yes, you can roll insight. Can Sakura roll insight too, possibly? Yep. All of you, if you guys want, you can roll insight. Can mm -hmm. Cork Let's see what the child Hajime gets. What 11. Okay. Oh, yes! Sorry Sakura, about that. yeah! What was your question? Yeah, baby. Who? Doc, you were saying something, but like the audio kind of glitched out on me. Doc? Doc? Ah, that's what's happening. My headphones were unplugged. Ah. Ah. Yeah. ah. Um, can Cork ask Hajime to elaborate? Of course. It, talking is a free action here. Cork mm -hmm. uh, kind of motions to Hajime and goes, Query, small friend, what is strange one talking about. I'm just also confused. They're also gonna ask take yeah. someone's name. How do you do that? Uh, say, I got 21. Do I know anything? Uh, Mom, you got 11. It's, so, uh, with that 21, you realize, huh, it's interesting. The mask seller hasn't introduced himself. Oh, uh, Huh. Mm. Maybe that's something to do with the fact that he's saying, give me back my name. Mm. I just just confused. They don't know. Yeah. Name. And, uh, but don't worry, uh, Hajime's gonna kind of explain things uh, as he mm -hmm. looks at you, Quark, and is just kind of, his ears are incredibly flat, and he's just, um, my, my grandma, she, um, made a book and it has a lot of a lot of yokai's names in them and when she wrote down the names she stole them oh is this the body's book oh my god quirk goes query how does that work uh, Hajime just kind of gets this complicated expression on his face, even as a cat, and it's just... Magic? I don't know. Smudge is also confused, but they're also like... It's... Isn't that rude to steal someone's name? Uh, names have power. <sighs> Indeed. I would like mine back. Quirk just goes, statement. This planet's weird. <laughs> 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 Smudge, also, Smudge nods in agreement with Qu with Qu Quark. They this is their first time out and about. They don't know nothing. Say, Sakura gives a little sigh. She gets she knows a bit of context to this, but she's just like, I don't know the specifics of it, but there's probably is a way back, a way to give your name back. I just don't know the steps. I do. You could have just asked. Sagara looks at the yokai. Have you asked? 
in my experience, asking doesn't get you anything. Mud I mean, looks at the salesman and is like, huh. Hmm. That's not true all the time though, right? No, it I'm not my grandma. I would have given it back. Mm. How about we make a deal of sorts? You we say we say you ask nicely to give us back your name and say she looks at Hajime. You you said you would be able to do that, right? Mm-hmm. I would. I I Nashi showed me how. I can I can I can give it back. You just you just got to ask. Say, does Stucker need to roll persuasion? Yeah, you just roll me persuasion because the mask seller is incredibly stubborn and has been incredibly burned by interacting mm. with mortals. I mean you're not Mud. raw yeah <laughs> all right Mud is also adding on oh to my that. gosh and please change it back please wow uh that's a 23 yes I can't do math quickly <laughs> yeah it's a 23 um smudge if you want you can also roll just to see how well your words have also affected them all right. Oh, this child, it's kind of new to the great big world. This is very confusing. Persuasion, where is that? Ah, dang it. A plus two. I got a lot of plus two. Bonk. <laughs> Five. The child isn't. The child is very con Five, very confused. Five, but with and they don't have the words. But with uh, the added. 23 uh that means your guys's total is a 28 and Yay. the the mask seller just kind of blinks at you sakura because he understands a transaction a lot better than just asking and he just kind of is like he kind of looks at hajime and then back at you, Sakura, and it's just very well. If my asking is a transaction, Sakura nods. I can. But what would you get in return? Because I would be getting my name back. But. How about. How about for start, do you transform our not only Hajime, but my friends back? Hmm. And Smudge well. adds, and, and I give you an apology. I'll give you an apology as well. Uh, the mask seller kind of laughs at that. He's like, very well. Uh, I am going to just, since we are kind of just talking it out by now, we're, I'm going to say we have dropped out of initiative. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, the mask seller turns to all of you and kind of does a bow and is Hajime. May I please have my name back? And Hajime's like, okay. You just you just had to ask, and he hops off of. Uh, your back, Sakura, and walks mm -hmm. up to the walks up to this uh, this mask seller and let me just really quickly mm -hmm. roll. Okay. If any of you all notice Smudge, they're probably bowing back as it's like, hey, I gotta do that. You gotta, you, you got it's a transaction. You gotta <laughs> equal. And uh, he uh, you, you don't really know where his mouth kind of pulled it from, but he suddenly in his mouth has a book, and it is green and very long and rectangular, and uh, he kind of sits down 
and his tail kind of curls around his paws as he kind of manages somehow to flip through the pages and he it's interesting you none of you know the mask seller's name but Hajime pauses kind of in the middle of the book sort of closer to the beginning though and looks up at the mask seller and is just oh Hitoshi that's a nice name and uh, with his teeth he pulls he tugs out the he tugs out the page and uh, kind of claps both paws against the paper and there is a wind of that is liberally coated with pink sakura f- flowers as they blow around all of you and especially around the mask seller and then you guys blink and the sakura petals have gone and Hitoshi the mask seller is kneeling in front of Hajime and let me just really quickly roll a strength which is just a, which is the wrong cheat I need to switch that is a plus three okay and with a little boop, he grabs something that you guys can't see and the mask comes off of Hajime's face and he's sitting on the ground with the book in his lap and Hitoshi has a cat shaped mask and he hands it to Hajime and then turns to the rest of you and he says the way to get the mask off is for one with hands to reach and tug into the unseen Hmm. A cork uh, is going. When, oh. yeah, sorry, you go. Cork is going to walk over to Smudge, the small rabbit, and Smudge looks at Cork. Cork is going to grab Smudge. <laughs> Weirdly strong for someone with three fingers, and just <laughs> yoink. Okay, I want you to make me a strength. A strength. Uh, That's fair. Yeah, because Smudge is just a silly little animatronic, and you grab the rabbit that it used to be. There's gonna be some. There's gonna there be some strength. <laughs> it's just a straight D twenty for me. <laughs> uh, you. The thing the is, the way of, the you, of this animatronic tri- child is brought back, and you fall. Uh, you also. Uh, the reason why I had you roll strength is to see if you could actually reach and tug the mask off. Oh. Uh, <laughs> And with the three, I'm sorry, you, 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 you don't manage to pull the mask off. I'm sorry. Mm. Quirk just uh, looked at wrong. Hitoshi and was like, and is like, there's no mask. I was wrong. Sakura sighs. Sakura sighs at this. Unfortunately, I don't think Mage Hand would help. Uh, I will but... let you use mage hand as your grasping motion uh, so mm-hmm. you would just need to roll me a strength check all right is, is quark still holding smudge yes <laughs> this is gonna be very she's funny she's gonna go over to moth and and do it since <laughs> all right quark is holding smudge oh, like, what if a nat 20 oh nice the mask goes- nice and Moth is Moth again. Like Ooh. Um, <laughs> Moth. Moth does, uh, Moth jumps in the air multiple times. <laughs> and it looks really weird. Like, the animation for the jumping is stopping uh, too soon because they're doing it so fast. Oh, Moth. <laughs> and there's yeah. little whistle noises. Woo! Oh, it's adorable. Uh, yeah. Sakura says to get a look to Quark and ask, uh, do you need help? 
Uh, I will say uh, the mask that is in your hands or your mage hand, Sakura, looks like a deer mm -hmm. mask now. It is not blank. All right. Cork, Cork is, is holding smudge, stubborn. gentle like hamburger. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, before, Sakura, you give an assist motion. Uh, Quark, do you want to mm -hmm. roll again for me? Yes. Quark does not want assistance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Poor. so Might need sorry. It. <laughs> yeah, you, you try and you just, your hand passes through air. Ah, Sakura is going to go over there and give assistance. Okay, and patient. with that with that nat twenty, I'm going to say that you you are very easily able to your mage hand feels along the edge and boop, you have a rabbit shaped mask. Cork, can you make a save? What save? Strength, because you're technically holding smudge. I think. Yeah, I am. I am holding still. <laughs> Cork is not strong. <laughs> oh Cork, my god. Cork, as Smudge is now all of a sudden a little silly, now they're back to being a silly animatronic bear. They're heavy <laughs> again. You you, you fall down with them. Thud. Mm -hmm. Cork is squished by Smudge. <laughs> <laughs> the small child is now alert and is like is now apologizing towards Cork and saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Sakura is actually going to go over to... What was the yokai's name again? Hitoshi. H Hitoshi. And... You it's hear a, Smudge it's faintly like, murmur, gravity, my enemy. <laughs> say, she goes over to Hitoshi, looks up at him, then gives a small bow of respect. He's like, thank you for your business. Uh, Hitoshi bows back and is like, thank you for the transaction. <sighs> Smudge, Smudge remembers their part of the deal. They gotta apologize. <laughs> Smudge goes towards Hitoshi and just bows back and apologizing. I'm sorry for being rude. And yeah, I'm sorry. And they will now go to their hammer space. <laughs> Bong. Oh, the oh, one. Fumble. Yeah! Yes. <sighs> Oh gosh, darn it. I don't have the fumble chart out. I Aww. did not expect that. Uh, let me really quickly get the uh, fumble chart, the main mm -hmm. fumble chart for y'all. Real quick. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to once again deliberately fumble, but I'm going to roll this time for item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just roll me a d20. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to roll a d20 as well. Hopefully. Fantastic. 14. Now let me see what's in 14. It's a shaving kit. A shaving kit? Smudge is confused. Where did they get a shaving kit from? The hammer space. <laughs> yeah. Quirk yeah. pulls out a bottle rocket and hands it to Hitoshi. Uh, they like, now they put they put the newly acquired shaving kit back in their hat and say, "Wait, no, that's not what I. That's not what I need. That's not. That's not. The, that's not what I needed." The bottle uh, rocket is handed towards Hitoshi. Uh, Hitoshi blinks and bemusedly uh, takes the bottle rocket. <laughs> they take out they take out the bread knife they take out the bread knife and they're also confused. Oh food. I'll save that for later. <laughs> uh Smudge, if you are trying to access your hammer space, you roll a D ten. Oh D ten oh peck. Ah oh, you're fine. It's if you're actually Quirk. fumbling and don't have a yeah. sheet. Mm -hmm. I was just handing you a sheet because you did ah, fumble or... the first time. Yeah. I don't got I have to use I have to use like a little bit of the hammer space fumble cuz like I don't I don't got a lot on my on my on my actual sheet so I'm just using a little bit. Oh, bonk. Oops. 10. Oh. Wait, you oh, wait, no. got the D. <laughs> Dang it. Cork points to Hitoshi and says, "Statement. This is Ooh. for stabbing your hand." <laughs> okay, with a 10, you manage to get what you want, Smudge. Smudge, pull Smudge pulls out the blue flowers again. There's there's still a lot of them. Smudge gives a good quarter of them to Hitoshi as an apology. Uh, and you... Everybody roll me insight. Oh, oh dear. Uh, uh, what is insight? Moth hands 
Hitoshi a paper boat. Six. What uh, gonna wear? I I don't know what Woo! I did. I think I got a. Oh, good job. I think I got a six. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I did wrong, but I have two answers. One's a 16, and the other is like a 23, 21. Huh. No, wait, 22. Well, um, hmm, you... I see, I see the 22. Uh, the 22 okay, is ne- Sakura's. Okay, never mind. Okay, just want to make okay. sure. So, so I just got a 6. It's not hard to miss. You all managed to pass this little DC. Uh, oh, my goodness. Hitoshi <laughs> is incredibly touched by all three of you. And just his slightly tense posture that he'd had has kind of just softened. And he kind of tilts his head and is just like, tell me, young ones, what may I call you? Just excited again and is like, smudge. Oh, I don't know if you heard, but uh, Moth handed Hitoshi yeah. a paper boat. I did, and I am um, just very soft with that. Okay, yeah. so what Mo- what happens? Moth Moth takes it out of his hands again, and and writes in very scribbly letters, Moth, and then hands it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was waiting for everyone else <laughs> to say Cork. something. Cork once again. Holds out a three-fingered hand and goes, Name, Ork. Mission, Explore. Smudge also, like, since after Smudge said their name, they also put out their paw, asking for a handshake politely. And Sakura, do you say your name to this yokai? Hey, I was, I, was, I, was just waiting for, I was just waiting for everyone else to get done. Mm-hmm. Sakura, Sakura smiles like, Sakura Blossom. And... I was just right about to say something. <laughs> mine, mine fart. <laughs> See, <laughs> I say, Sakura, Sakura Blossom, and I do say, I'm say, I am, I am apologizing for the hostility earlier. I just do not like people transforming my friends to the mask. And even though our relationship is very rocky, I would be, say, I would love to have the pleasure with doing business with you in the future. And she lifts out hook to shake. Smudge is still waiting for the handshake. I know. Uh, everybody is like reaching out a hand to shake and Hitoshi is just kind of blank, blank, blank. He does not understand why all of you are holding out a hand to him. He kind of just ah. tilts his head. Oh, <laughs> Smudge immediately answers, um, handshakes are what you do when you greet new people. Uh, Hitoshi just kind of nods, but you get the sense that he doesn't quite get it, but he kind of reaches out his hand and shakes all of your hands. Uh, Hitoshi hears a squeaking noise when he shakes Smudge's hand. Blink, yeah, blink, when... blink, blink, blink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when he shakes Sakura's hand, it's like, yes. It's a sign of greeting and respect. Cork has retracted its hand when what? he, the tune, immediately oh. didn't realize that it was a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hitoshi kind of blinks at you, Quark, and actually gives you a little bow. And then uh, turns to Hajime and bows at Hajime and then you all blink, and Hajime, uh, not Hajime, uh, Hitoshi and the burnt remains of the stall are gone in a passing of kind of slightly cool, but still kind of warm wind. Smudge is now concerned. Their stall is, there's this stall. How are they making? And Hajime just kind of, just heaves the sigh and just kind of flump flops over onto the side of the onto the path and just kind of stares up at the sky oh he's tired (laughs) (laughs) smudge goes over smudge goes over to them and just pats them they eat how do you make here the squeaking noise each pat 
Just <laughs> pat, squeak, pat, squeak, pat, squeak. <laughs> Sakura chuckle. It has definitely been a day. Uh, is Hitoshi's like clothes still like like scored scorched a little bit? I'm sorry. What? Okay. Is Hitoshi's like clothes scorched from like her fire? Hitoshi's gone. Oh, he's gone now from. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> disappeared. Sorry, I was mixing up names. I don't know. Yeah, sorry. You're fine. Wait, did Hitoshi accept their gifts? He did accept your gifts. Good. Yeah. Which is one Sakura of the reasons over... why he was so fond of you all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Cork. Sakura goes over to Hajime and, like, <laughs> chuckles. It's definitely been a day. Cork uh... is looking where. Um, <laughs> The stall damage. was. Yeah, there's. And the stalls. What what does Court see? Uh, basically, you all you really see is like there's this kind of scorch mark where uh, Sakura's blast had hit, and the wood had burned, but uh, kind of where it would have been, there's like kind of like this blank spot, spot, as if the ground hadn't been burnt. Cork huh. sighs. <laughs> like, annoyed. And goes, observation. Weird. <laughs> nodges. N- nodges n- n- nods their head. Do uh, not understand. Uh, Smudge agrees as well. This is technically my first time out. I don't know what's going on, but roll with the punches. Uh, Hajime kind of pulls out from his pocket one of the other uh, teardrop jade necklaces and turns to Moth and holds out the necklace and is like, "Um, if you're wanting to do more hiking, uh, you're going to want to have this on hand. Um, You're... Otherwise, you're you're gonna get into trouble, and you're not gonna see it. <laughs> um, they take it and they put it on, and it's. They don't take off their other pendant, mm-hmm. so now they just have two. You just hear Smudge saying, "Necklace buddies, necklace buddies." <laughs> Wait a minute. Do we still have the masks? Yes, the masks are still with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Smudge is gonna ask for the mask. They are not they're gonna keep it. It's a keepsake. Technically it's... a gift from Hit- Hitoshi, but not but not very good memories, but it's it's technically <laughs> a gift. They gotta accept it. Yeah, she yeah. gives back the masks to everyone, just in case that they do wanna keep them. Moth doesn't have a deer mask, so they're taking it. Does Hajime have the cat mask? Yep. Cork walks up to him and says, Query, can take? Uh, Hajime kind of looks at the mask and kind of makes a face and hands it to Quark. <laughs> Quark goes, statement, thanks. Uh, you're you're welcome. And uh, Sakura, do, do you want me to roll, um, roll me a perception real quick? All right. A D twenty. I keep forgetting what my perception is. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> all right. I'm in the same boat. Okay. It's a fourteen. With a fourteen, you kind of look around the clearing and you notice, huh? There's two masks, kind of in the bushes right behind where the stall was. They're blank. Hmm. I would be definitely interested in taking, taking what, taking them. I have never could seen I, magic. Could I also roll that and see if see if Smudge sees them? Yeah, you could. You guys can roll perception. Quark does not care. <laughs> it is looking at the cat mask. Op also does not care. Seventeen. Smudge cares enough and notices. Okay, uh, Smudge, you also noticed the blank white mask 
the two blank white masks that are in the bushes. Uh, Sakura, are you gonna do anything about those two masks? I'm gonna pick them both up and like t and like bring them to her to look at it and, and to examine. Okay. Uh, does, Smudge recognize that, does Smudge recognize these masks? Yes, Smudge, you recognize them. They are the same exact masks that you were handed by Hitoshi. And Sakura, please make me a whiz save. All oh, right. No. All right. Oh no, Cork. What's cork fell out of my save? hands. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Yep, okay, uh, you kind of, you, as you're walking towards Smudge, you keep looking at these masks, and you're, they're so interesting. Wow. Oh my God. And, uh, you, you put one of the masks on to your face, and roll me a d6. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, with a five, uh, you, <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you suddenly realize that you are incredibly close to the ground. You are a turtle, what? my friend. Turtle. Oh. <laughs> turtle. Turtle time. And it's when she's, it's when she's a turtle and forgets for a second, that used to be soccer. It's like, turtle, and then realizes, oh no. And, uh, <laughs> you've dropped the other mask with a clatter. Uh, yeah. Quark, do you look up at this? Quark does look up. All He's right. confused. Make me a wish save. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does the Quark only two need to make a wisdom save? Yeah, I was the gonna say, we're the only two people. people. Can Wait. Smudge try and take the mask off of Sakura? Quark. Yes, roll me a Quark, strength what check. What is your wisdom? Oh, no. <laughs> My, minus one. Oh no. Oh, it's a 16. Bonk. 19! Okay, nice. Smudge, you managed to pull the mask off of. Uh, of. Sakura. <sighs> yes, Sakura. Sorry, my brain is right. starting to go fuzzy. Uh, and. Hey, <laughs> we haven't had a break yet. I know, mm -hmm. uh, but we're basically at the epilogue. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, if you guys want, we can just really quickly hurry, speed run the epilogue, and then we can just call it done. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. It's just I'm fine wanna... too. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I just I'm, thought yeah, it was I'm funny. Well. I know, like it's. It, I was expecting there to be a bit longer shenanigans, but no, you guys immediately jumped into the. Uh, confrontation part of the game so we speed <laughs> yeah <laughs> we it's called speed run 100 percent yes it's called i have a character who is annoyed and done <laughs> with this planet <laughs> and uh and, and meanwhile smudge is confused but is learning yeah That's um good. smudge you managed to pull the mask off from sakura and sakura congratulations you now have a you now have a Turtle. Turtle. Turtle mask. mask. Yes. And uh Quark you now have a turtle. The mask back. You you stare at you stare at the mask and you're like, huh, that's really interesting. And then you look at the mask that you got from Hajime and you put the mask that you got from Hajime on. It does nothing. Cork? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. This is huh. custom. Yeah. Ooh. So, if and you kind of your eyes kind of turn back to the blank mask, and you kind of wonder if maybe this mask that you got from Hajime doesn't want to work for you because it's Cork not yours. Cork sadly tosses the ma the cat mask <laughs> back <laughs> to Hajime and is like. Do not work and walks over <laughs> to the other hmm, blank I'm mask. A I'm gonna roll a D6. Immediately two puts it on. <laughs> roll me a oh, D6. Wait, 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 so did the the mask still looked like uh did the mask still look like a cat mask or did it yes, go back still, to being blank? It still mm -hmm. looks like a cat mask. Okay, Moth wants all your masks. <laughs> Quirk will not no, give you the mask. 
So he, Sakura is like. Also, Sakura's I rolled a jealous. four. Okay, with I mean, a four, you are suddenly a deer. Take the cat one. Aw, oh, man, I wanted a different animal than the rest of them. <laughs> oh. Well, honestly, actually, yeah, with. Uh, roll me another d6. Wait, actually, um. God, turtle. Cat. Two! Okay, with a two. Okay, I'm just going to make the executive decision of one, two. I'm just going to roll a D. Okay, you turn into a fox. Good. It's a bright green fox. (laughs) 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 If Hajime doesn't take the cat mask, then Moth is claiming it. Yeah, uh, Hajime kind of looks at the mask and it's just like <sighs> and then turns to you moth and it's just like dude do you want it yeah you don't really want to turn into a cat again grabby hands he hands it to you <laughs> yeah will someone help court get the mask off? <laughs> sakura, do say, sakura will use mage hand and get the mask off okay for only strength Mudge will also help it Smudge will also help if things go south because they need they, they technically need to do a proper apology to Cork. Thirteen. Okay, roll me with advantage because Smudge is going to be helping you pull. All right. Okay. Okay. Nice. That twenty. Dirty uh, twenty. Pop! It comes off. Cork, you now have a fox mask. Cork is pleased. And That's it. Cork is just like <laughs> holding the mask now and is like, ease. Mine now. Mm-hmm. Sakura puts it in her hammer space. Her mask in her hammer space. Mm-hmm. Which is Someone like, it's like. their mask a bit. They're just holding it now. Yeah. Say so the way Sakura gets things out of her hammer space is similar to the My Little Pony mm-hmm. where things like magical, like, poof, out of existence. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And Spudge, you said you wanted to apologize properly? To Quirk? Yeah, Smudge, Smudge, their, their proper apology, apology was helping them get the mask off. Okay. They did an apology, they did an apology by, by saying sorry, but they'll, but sometimes they gotta do stuff as well. I think mm-hmm. that's the, as proper of an apology they can do. Quirk gives a finger gun motion? <laughs> I'm not sure if they know what that, if it knows what finger guns are. <laughs> but it's doing it. Smudge also, Smudge also does a finger gun motion. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else mm-hmm. you guys want to do before I fully move you all into a really quick epilogue? I think I'm good. I'm good. Smudge will yeah. lie down on on the ground with a. Uh, Itome? Yeah, is that his Hajime. Haj- Hajime, dang it. Uh, lies down on the ground with Hajime and is like. I'm gonna do some cloud watching. <laughs> okay, uh, as uh, all of you kind of just kind of process what happened, uh, you all uh, realize that if you put on your masks, you can uh, turn into the animal that you are now attuned to. Uh, and if you go in on the second time you can choose to fail the whiz save or if your whiz save uh, if you don't want to actually turn into your animal uh, you're going to need to make a whiz save of a DC of 15 Mm -hmm. and they're attuned to you now so only you can turn into an animal uh, Mm -hmm. resignated with um, designated by your mask and uh brain please work uh hajime Mm kind of looks at all of you and is just like do you guys want to come to my house i can show you the rest of the trail so you don't get dragged into anything more crazy like that that sounds wonderful and he's also excited and Quirk. Smudge is also a little bit confused and says, wait, that's not normal? <laughs> I don't know if Hajime would be okay with it, but Moth wants to... Moth would, like, 
reach up to hold his hand. Oh, he would definitely accept as, your hand. As a gesture of, like, you lead the way. Mm-hmm. Aww. I just hold my Smudge is so also- and Smudge is- Smudge is gonna go towards Zmoth and- and is just like- and is also gonna try and hold Smudge- Zmoth's hand. You can do that. <laughs> yeah! Do- do you guys just want to form a chain of people holding hands? <laughs> I mean, Sakura can't really hold hands other than Mage Hand, like, she does Mage Hand, actually. She holds out a Mage Hand to, like, join in the chain. Mm-hmm. You will have to oh, take Cork's so hand. Cork will not be- <laughs> Willingly whoever is holding, holding smudge's, hands. Whoever's holding Smudge's other hand, it's it's a hunt. It's there's a little bit of flavor. It's honey, so there might be some hunt. So so there Aww. might be honey stuck on the hand. <laughs> okay, y'all ready for Hajime to lead you back into town? <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, uh, Hajime does in fact lead you all into town and directs you to his house and he kind of quietly explains as he's walking that while the rest of the town is usually not dragged into such occasions as what you all have just gone through, if you're gonna be around Hajime, you're you're gonna you're going or if you're around Hajime or if you are in the Hitoyama mountains you can expect things to go weird Sludge nods processing Mm -hmm. they're also very tired the energy of today has gotten to them now they're tired Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons why Hajime is directing you all to his house so you guys can have a nice lovely nap and rest and just vibe with nothing really happening nice nice let nice. this child rest nice. they have been through a day they have all been through a day mm-hmm. if anyone gives hajime a weird look quark is glaring back <laughs> like doing that i'm watching you except with their with its entire hand because again mm-hmm. only three fingers yeah actually just if- as a favor, everybody, please mm-hmm. just roll me a final perception check as you are all entering the house. All right. Twelve. Oh, right. Oh, right. Seventeen. Uh, Smudge is too tired. They're doing a yawn, a there big yawn. Okay. Uh, a big old yawn. Their teeth are showing, but mm-hmm. they're yawning. They're tired. Yeah. Uh, Moff and Smudge, you guys don't really see anything. You guys are, you're, you're kind of tired. You're more interested in kind of checking out Hajime's house. Uh, but... Yeah. Quark and Sakura, you turn just before you fully enter the house. And you see the man from before. The one cloaked. And he's looking at Hajime, and then he turns to look at you two, and his eyes are incredibly cold, and then you guys blink, and he's gone. Sakura yeah. never tried like that. Cork looks at Sakura and says, Cleary, did see? Statement. Yes. Smudge was probably very tired, but is like still talking to Hajime, and is just, and and it's just, they're just doing that, like, you just, they're just clapping, a, they're probably, like, patting their, one of their paws on Hajime in, in a very excited tone, so they're, they're probably squeaking. The, ti- the child, the child is tired, but they are going to be energetic till, until they sleep. Until they pass <laughs> out. But it's yes. just, oh, I hold Smudge so soft. Yeah, it is definitely going... hold. Oh, hold Smudge. No, you go Smudge will also, Smudge will also hold you very softly. <laughs> Cork. Um, goes up to Hajime and goes, Query, cloaked figure? Cold stare. No? Hajime kind of stills for a moment and then his face kind of... It pales again and he just kind of rises up his shoulders and is like, 
fine. He hasn't done anything yet. I just think he hears one final squeak. <laughs> and Smudge is like, I'll protect you. Statement. <laughs> er, observation. Yet? He's been around town a lot. It's it's fine. It I'll be okay. It, it's it's fine. Well, it's gonna you hug don't... Hajime. Smudge is gonna hug yeah. them. Sakura is very sus of this cloak. Man, it's like, well, even so, maybe I would have liked to stay around a little bit longer, and make sure everything is okay. And Hajime kind of just smiles at you guys, and it's just like, thanks. I'm sorry for all the chaos you guys got dragged into, but you you, you don't have to if you if you need to be places. <laughs> Statement. Trust. I do not have to be anywhere. Mission is to explore. <laughs> Smudge is shaking their head. They don't got anything important to do. They're just exploring and they they can put they can put their little journey on pause. <laughs> Sakura nods. It's like I say despite everything, I very much enjoy being here in Hitiyama. And spins in a circle mm -hmm. um, a few times uh, and then sits down. Clearly making them yeah. at home. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Clearly. Mm -hmm. And Hajime just kind of smiles at you all and is just thanks. And I believe that's where we shall end this game. Woo! Thank Good game. you everybody for playing with me. It was fantastic for you. I I, I enjoyed all of your characters so much. <laughs> I love them all so much. Yeah, I say I love all you guys' characters too. That's just adorable. <laughs> yeah, they're all I so love good. everyone's characters. Cork does not everyone's know how to appreciate amazing. the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Cork does not know how to take the compliment, but I love all of your all's <laughs> characters too. <laughs> Mudge will come. Compliment everyone and and befriend them. Smudge yes. Smudge now knows to be a little cautious, but they they'll probably forget about being cautious next time they see someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Often uh, learn anything from this experience. <laughs> they will learn something, mm. but if their insight is just as bad, they're going to not learn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So <sighs> you go. I'm just going to say thank you everyone for listening and we'll see you all on the next episode. Bye. 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 Bye.